Hi everybody, I'm John Thompson. Thank you for coming in. Uh, unfortunately, Jim couldn't be here for the operating manager tutorial, so I am here to answer any of your questions and make sure you understand what you need to do for the assignment that's due tomorrow. Remember guys, you're master students now. We should know this. Let's just go over this again. Do not use paper clips. I cannot stress this enough. The correct method is staples. One staple, top left of the page. Jim does not want to see three staples down like a book. This is an assignment, not a book. Last year we had a great assignment. I have it here. The student did very well. The problem was it was fastened with a paper clip. Jim takes the pile, it slips off. How am I going to mark that? Hmm? There were a lot of questions last year as to the indicators or, or the marking scheme Jim uses uh, and that caused some confusion and I'd like to just go over it so you understand next week when you get your papers back. Uh, the first indicator is fairly self-explanatory, it's a check mark. Good job, I see where you're going with this. The next is GJ, uh, that also stands for good job. I would equate this to double check marks and those are interchangeable. The next indicator would be a bullseye. So if you see this, it means good job. You hit the right point here, bullseye. Now, this one, a lot of people have confusion over. This one means, I think I see where you're going, but I need help down here. Come down here and help me understand what you're trying to say. Now, the next one is the double arrows. The double arrows are fairly straightforward. If you see these on even pages, it means go back to the previous page, reread, and come back. If this is on odd pages, ignore it. Okay, the yield sign. Again, very similar to the rules of the road. I'm proceeding with caution. So I see where you're going, but I'm going to read a little slower. Now, now these drops caused some confusion last year. A lot of people thought that these were tears elicited by an emotional paper. In fact, if you see this at the, first, uh, the top of the first page, it, it means that your paper was handed in damp. Now that could have happened because it was raining or perhaps Jim spilled coffee. If it was coffee, chances are these would be brown. All right, the next one is actually a great one. If you see this on the paper, you are looking at the rocket ship. Uh, Jim's saying you are on a rocket ship to the moon. If this is on your paper, jump on and enjoy the ride. There are a couple symbols um, that Jim reserves for only the best papers. And you know that, that you've hit the nail on the head here because it's combining two of Jim's biggest passions, and that's Aztec art and gambling. Now, if you see this, the dancing Aztec man, um, notice the, the small marble instead of the right hand and the clubbed foot uh, on the leg, uh, suggesting that there may be a minor case of elephantitis. What he's saying here is, this paper is different, and it's okay to be different. Next, we see the combination of Aztec art and gambling. We see the sun with its many rays, and, and two cherries, which is a common symbol on Slavish. Okay, and finally, now this is reserved for the best paper. We had one of these last year, the three bars, also the three dollar signs. If you see these, cash out, you're done. At this point, you can actually stop writing and drop the course. All right, so there's a couple more that I just want to bring to your attention. Giant bicep. Right. Okay, it's a heart. Now here's a good example when you could have used the four Ps. Plus a bottle shooting liquid. Oh, this is a long one. Now this one, Jim's saying, you got your argument, but you're missing a piece. And I'm still not sure what this is all about. We have a son with what appears to be a sick cat. And of course, to, to be smart, use the three R's. What about the 12 fours? Okay. This was here when I came to the classroom. But take that into account. Um, this, I think that uh, this is Jim's interpre interpretation of your inner child. First one is the snake coming out of a teepee with a fly. If you see this, great use of the sandwich model. You see this? Your argument is slipping away from me. See a little mustard dripping out of there? It means you may have gone a little heavy on the suggestions. Opera singer. 
She loves your paper, and she's letting the whole world know.